whiskey lovers and welcome to another one of Mark's whiskey ramblings. Today we will be trying a Kilkenan whiskey, Sherrywood Matured in this case. You may remember that I recently tried the latest version of Kilkenan's uh, work in progress. It was a 10 year old that had matured on bourbon casks. And you may also remember that I told you that they released at the same time their work in progress matured on sherry casks. For the 10 year old I did prefer the, uh, the bourbon uh, matured version. Uh, which is why I did the rambling on that particular bottle. However, I wanted to let you know how the Sherry Cask Matured version tasted as well. So I got me a bottle of the, the previous release on, the, on Sherry Casks. This uh, means that this is a nine-year-old. Now for those of you who missed out on the uh, previous whiskey rambling, uh, no worries, you can still find it on YouTube of course. Uh, let me just tell you a little uh, bit about the Kilkenan distillery itself. Well, it's not the Kilkenan distillery, it's the Glengyle distillery in Campbelltown, which is owned by the same people that also own the Springbank distillery. But they had to name their whiskey, uh, they couldn't name their whiskey Glengyle because there was already a blend, a Highland blend, that had a copyright on the name uh, Glengyle. So they opted for Kilkenan, which is basically the name of one of the early settlements. Uh, it was a priest by the name of Kieran. Uh, uh, Kilkiran or something like that, I don't really recall. It's not really that important either. Uh, the Glengyle distillery produces the Kilkiran and this was their uh, nine-year-old, the previous work in progress, matured on Sherrywood. It is bottled at a drinking strength of 46% ABV and it's got this full, full golden, full golden color. Let's find out. On the nose. Mm, it's uh, it's a sweet and, 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 and dark if you know what I mean But it's quite mysterious. It's got this this dirty edge. I Get some strawberry Some watermelon with some roasted nuts Raspberry and there's some spices in there as well. I get some licorice and some cinnamon But it's got quite a few earthy notes if you know what I'm talking about It's quite nice on the palate then. Mm. Quite oily and spicy. Mm. I get some, some nuts again, some rhubarb, chocolate and tobacco, and there's a clear hint of peat in there. But I also get some, uh, some, some exotic fruits such as uh, mango and papaya. It's quite exotic. But again, it's got this little dirty edge, and uh, there's a lot more peat in there than I would have anticipated, I have to say. At the back of the throat, I get a hint of espresso. So that must be the sherry cask. Quite lovely. On the finish, then. Mm. The finish is quite smoky. Quite long as well. And I get a return of the of the coffee of the espresso. Well, this is this is an amazingly complex whiskey for such a young age. And truth be told, I find this one a lot better than their ten-year-old. Uh, it's more dirty, if you know what I mean. It's 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 quite an interesting expression. So now I've had the the bourbon and the sherry cask matured Kilkenan work in progress at various ages. And to be honest. My favorite expression remains the 10 year old on bourbon casks, even though that was with a ridiculously ugly pink packaging. This one is my second favorite on Sherrywood, one year younger than nine year old Kilkerran work in progress five Sherrywood expression. Very nice indeed. And that's all for this whiskey rambling, and I hope to see you again at one of Mark's whiskey ramblings real soon. And until then, may the malt be with you.